Dry eyes are very common. It's estimated that up to one in five people will suffer from dry eyes at some time during their life. The symptoms of dry eyes are uh, the eye can be a little bit red, it'll be uncomfortable, it may feel gritty or warm, and usually you will get some, some watering. It is unusual. You wouldn't expect a dry eye to water, but this is the body's way of trying to, to keep the surface of the eye more moist. Dry eyes tend to occur for one of two reasons. First of all, it may be that you're not producing enough tears. This is quite common in people with arthritis. As we get older, we also tend to produce less tears. The most common reason that people get dry eyes is because their tears evaporate too quickly. They are actually producing sufficient tears, but they're not staying on the surface of the eye for long enough. The, one of the layers of the tears is an oily layer, and this is designed to reduce the evaporation of the tears. And as we get older, this oily layer becomes thinner, so our tears do evaporate more quickly. Your environment will also play a large role in the amount of, of evaporation of your tears. For example, if you're sitting in front of a computer for a long time in an air-conditioned office, your tears will evaporate much more quickly than if you were outdoors. In terms of treating a dry eye, the first treatment is generally to use lubricating eye drops. Not all lubricating eye drops are the same, so it is worthwhile asking your optometrist for their advice on what the best drops would be for your eyes. If the eye drops are not sufficient, you can also use an ointment before you go to bed at night. You can't use the ointment during the day because it does produce some blurring. There are some people that find that they can modify their diet in certain ways to improve the quality of their tears. Omega-3s have been shown to be very beneficial. You can also get sprays, which you spray onto the surface of the eyes to help keep the oily layer thick and prevent the tears from evaporating. If you are getting symptoms suggestive of dry eyes, I would recommend you have your eyes examined by an optometrist. They can confirm that your eyes are dry and they can advise the best treatment options for you.